Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is the first of the month, which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see the July 2023 sketch, the first set of cards I made, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Now you might have known that I took the month of June off and if you're interested in why, I will pop a link to the video up in the corner now and I will link it in the description box down below. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a look at the new July 2023 sheet load of cards. I'll show you the first set of cards I made and then at the end of the video, I will tell you how you can download the printable for free as long as you're a subscriber to my channel. Now, if you're new to my channel or new to Sheetload of Cards, it is a printable that I put out each month where I give you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your supplies and get a sheet load of cards. That is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards depending on the sketch and the size of paper. These are great ways to build up your card stash, make cards for donation, for gifts, just maybe because you want to get crafty. That is up to you. Sheetload is also a great jumping off point. You're always free to make it your own and I love to see those little twists that you put on it. Now tomorrow I'll be back to show you how I put together my first set and my awesome team of collaborators will be sharing their sets here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Now the team has switched up a little bit this month, which I will do a formal announcement and kind of introduction later. But as always, everybody is linked in the description box below. I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe to them here on YouTube and follow them on Instagram so you're all ready for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the July 2023 sheet load of cards. And here's a look at the new sketch for July 2023. This month we are creating A2 cards and if you follow the supply list and the cutting guides you're going to yield 12 cards from just two pieces of pattern paper, some cardstock for matting, and card bases. So this is going to be a great one with that 12 maybe to get a start on those holiday cards or again to build up your own stash or to give as gifts or donate. As always, if you like the layout, but maybe you want to use up some scraps or don't need a whole sheet load, I give you the dimensions of each of the pieces. And then at the bottom, I give some alternative ideas. If you want to rotate the sketch, pop pieces up, add die cuts. Again, this is just a great jumping off point. As always, I do love to see what you're creating as well. So at the top of the printable are a couple hashtags that if you do share online, if it's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, please use those so I can see what you're creating. On page two, I have the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each pattern paper and each piece of cardstock. Now this month calls for one cardstock for the sentiments and then one and a partial cardstock to map that. This would be one that if you have some smaller pieces, you could use those up. Just make it work. Now another thing is I have given you a size for the sentiment piece, but if you want to make your smaller or larger, you can definitely adjust that. While we're taking a look at page two, I do want to point out here at the bottom that sheet load is channel member supported. Not only do my members keep me creating here on YouTube, but they help keep sheet load free for all. If you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box or you can click on that join button below this video. Now, while we're talking about channel members, I have a special few to celebrate. In June, I had some channel members earn their two-year membership badge, so I would like to take a minute to recognize them. 
An extra special thank you goes to Mona Hayford, Lil Crafty Nook, Rebecca Ransdell, Lila Crotwell, How Cross Castle, Carla Leonard, Martha Kemen. Louise Alsing, Carrie Twite, Donnie Richard, Abby Bozer, Biddy Art Journey, Margaret Nab Designs, Joan Kowalski, Carefree Sue, Christine Johnson, Barbara Morgan, Dolly Spiller, 3611 Ladybug, Paula Shattuck, Coastal Crafty Studio, Bodle Jamie, and Schnoogles. Thank you so much for your continued support. Before I show you my first set of cards for July 2023, let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies that I used. Here's a look at the main supplies I used for my 12 cards this month. I started by choosing a sentiment from Spellbinder Sentimental Greetings, the You Brighten My Every Day. I just thought that was nice and versatile. It could be used for many occasions. And then after I picked out the butterfly paper that I was gonna use, I knew that I had to get out this vintage set from Spellbinders. I looked on the back and this is from 2011, but it is still one of my favorites. I love that it cuts out the more delicate butterfly and then its shadow. So to help take up some of the space on the sentiment piece, I die cut those and added them as accents. For my cardstocks, I chose some coordinating ones. I have grass green from Gina K Designs for my card bases and the matting of my sentiment. And then for some of my butterfly, I chose pineapple from Tailored Expressions. I thought both of these went with the colors in the pattern paper which speaking of pattern paper, I can't remember if I bought this in Omaha or Lincoln. I have never actually heard of this paper company until I got it. I believe it is called P13. So they have a website, it looks like it might be Polish. I will link that below if you want to check them out. Let me know also in the comment section if you've ever heard of this company. The first thing that caught my eye was of course the butterflies on this and then there's some light text in the background and to pull out some of that green and for my accent piece I chose this one. It's kind of a, a plaid or a gingham. It has like dark green stripes on a lighter green background. Now in tomorrow's process video, I will tell you about a little more that I use to create my cards. And speaking of cards, let's go ahead and take a look at them. I hope you enjoyed that close-up look at the cards for this month. You might have noticed that I did move my sentiment and image area to the right so that I had room for my butterfly to hang off the left. Also, I used some of the scraps to decorate the inside and just so my recipient knows it's from me, I added my personal stamp to the back in kind of a tone on tone look. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable. Are you ready to get started on your own sheet load of cards? As always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. It's free, it's quick, it's easy. If you haven't already, just click on that subscribe button below this video. You're gonna find this month's link in the description box all the way down at the bottom, so keep scrolling.
Below the link it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can view it on screen or you can download it to your device and print it. If you're excited to download your free copy, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget tomorrow to come back to see how I made this first set of cards and find out how you can see what my collaboration team has created. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.